Hi all, in this video, let's learn about NPM link. Why we need to use that, how to use it. I will explain in detail and how it works behind the screens also, I will try to explain with an example. So working simultaneously on a dependency project and your application code. So it helps us to combine these two. We can work simultaneously on this, how? So for example, this is your dependency package, okay, this one. So it, it can be your uh, component library or a utility package, anything. It doesn't mean like dependency package means a third party library. It can be your own dependency package where you will write the code. You will publish that to the N NPM registry. So here, this is your application code. You'll be working on this application code day to day. And you will use this dependency package in your application code. So sometimes you wanted to test this dependency package changes in your application code locally. Instead of pushing that, to the NPM registry and installing, that is a big process, right? So instead of that, you wanted to check like quick changes and quick testing you wanted to do. So in that cases, usually what we do, we will build this dependency package, bundle that, build it and put that here in the application code, node modules and we'll, do, we'll run it. So this is how we usually do. Instead of that, we can use NPM link. So that's what we are going to discuss now. So with this NPM link, what you can do, you can work both on the dependency package and the application code simultaneously. At a time, you can work on both the things. Okay, how to do that? You can do that with the two steps. First step is creating a symbolic link. So to your dependency package, to this dependency package, you'll create a symbolic link. Okay, later on in your application code, you will use that link. So here you have used right the dependency project here. Okay, here in this dependency project, you will write NPM link. If you do that, what happens? So these are the two steps. One is to create the symbolic link in the dependency project. And in the application code, you need to link to that dependency project. These are the two steps. So behind the screens, how we, what is going to happen? Let's discuss that. So when you do create symbolic link at this dependency package level, what it happens is, it will go like a will be having a global node modules folder in any of the projects will be having a if you install something with hyphen g or hyphen hyphen global then you a folder would be created called node modules and all those things would be stored here okay in this global modules when you create the symbolic link this would be linked to this dependency package because you have did npm link here so this node modules will be linked to this uh, directory of dependency package later this is the first step okay later in the second steps you are trying to npm link this dependency project okay in your in your application code then what happens it's like you are linking that with this with the global node modules that will be linked to the local node modules of our application code these are the two steps which will happen behind the screens fine so let, let, let me show you that with an example. So this is the dependency project just for the simplicity sake, I have just taken an utility function. You will pass something to this and it will return back to you, okay? Uh, so, and one more important thing is like, whatever the changes you do here in the dependency package, directly those would be reflected back in the application code. That is very much easy for us to test the dependency package. You no need to do build, publish those things. This is the main advantage and the use case of this NPM link. Okay, now let's see. This is a dependency project. In the dependency project, what we need to do, we need to create a symbolic link with the help of the command NPM link. So I'm doing that, NPM link. So if you do NPM link, you will be getting an, uh, uh, if you're using Mac or Linux, you need to use sudo. Okay, now I have used the NPM link. No, now the link was established. Okay, for the, it means like we have created one symbolic link for this dependency package. In the application code, let's uh, link these two. Okay, let me go back to this is an application code. Now I need to NPM link and I need to give the project name. So that project name is this one, like dependency project. This is the one. Okay. Uh, you can check that in the package.json file. This is the one. This is what you are going to link. Okay, I'm linking that. Perfect. So once you link that, and once you check here in your node modules, that would be linked. Okay, you can see that. Okay, 
uh, dependency project you can see here. So now whatever the change you do, it would be, see, this is the one dependency project was there in the node modules. Now I am uh, importing that. See, I'm importing the dependency project greet and just I'm passing the console here to this utility function. Okay, let's run this application and see. I'm running the application code here. So I'm running the application code here. Now let's see, it was running. In the console, you can see hello dynamic John. Okay, now if you if you do any of the changes to your dependency project, so just I'm adding one, two, three here. So and if you go back here, the one, two, three would be reflected back. See, like you can work simultaneously on the dependency project and your application code at a time. Okay, whatever the changes you do for the dependency project, that would be reflected back. This is how the NPM link is helpful for us. The internal working, I have tried to explain you with the help of this node modules. Okay, and I will explain you that uh, how to see this node modules part. So, for example, glo global node modules. Okay, let me show you that. So, if you want to see what all the node modules like your uh, path, see, this is a global node modules path here all the global node modules would be stored here, the links as well. So for example, in our diagram, if you go, if we go back to our diagram. So here you can see, this is a global node modules. If you want to find out the path for this global node modules, where it will be there. So this is a command you need to type npm root hyphen g. This is a global path, okay? Now, if you want to find out what all the soft links you have been using. So let me show you with, uh, I will take one more terminal. I will show what all the soft links you have. LS hyphen AL dollar. And I'm using this NPM root hyphen G. So with this, what we can know with this command is what all the soft links, like a symbolic links are there in our project. So these many symbolic links are there. So this is the one I think we have just now we have installed. So this is the one. Okay, and this is also the dependency project two also is another one which have linked a few minutes back. So these are the two different symbolic links and it will list you the all the symbolic links available in your project. Fine. This is you understood the use case how to use it right now you need to also understand to unlink this. So once you're done with this checking. So whatever the checking you want to do with your dependency project and your uh, application code you have done with that. So now you need to uninstall as well. So it, it means you need to remove the link as well. To remove the global link here, I think you can see the highlighted part. To remove the uh, link of the dependency project, you need to do npm unlink. Here you did link, here you need to do unlink. What does it do? It will remove the global link, okay? The attachment here, we have the attachment, right? This attachment would be removed. Okay, with that step. So later in the step two of uh, unlinking, you need to remove because this project all the time, it would be seeing this directory. Okay, once it is done with these changes, it needs to be installed from the NPM registry, not from this package. So for that, you need to run this NPM unlink uh, this project. Okay, then this link would be removed. That is what the second step we need to do. So let's do that. So firstly, we need to go here as we linked, we need to unlink simple. Okay, here we have linked here. So the same way will be unlinked here. Okay, I need to provide the project name it seems fine. I'm trying to unlink the dependency projects. I think I have copied this already. Yep. So once you unlink there, unlink with this uh, one, the first link was gone. So later here, I need to unlink in the application code as well. NPM unlink iPhone, iPhone, no save. And I also need to give the project name and it will unlink. Okay, now it, it won't work. So after this, you can do NPM install. Then if this NPM install will take that from the NPM registry, not from the directory. Okay, this is what the NPM link means. Hope you understand the video. It would very much helpful for you. So try to use this while you're trying to debug something with the dependency library in your application code. Hope you understand the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you.